is that he is the divine. Uh, we too are in the most humblest manner of fast and peace. And what's up to everybody? How y'all doing? All right, divine always. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. Uh, respect uh, before I speak. Um, permission, please, from my elder to uh, speak before you all, please. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, that's, a, of course, an African tradition that we seem to have gotten away from. It's also just showing love and honor and respect to anyone that is a millisecond older than you um, and just asking them and being respectful. So um, that's what must be done. We try our best to liberate that and live that and, and be a part of that life. So as the youth would say, be a part of that life. So if that's a part of life I want to be a part of. Uh, thank you very much, Sister Cheryl. Uh, mm -hmm. And I believe it's just part right? right. Thank you very much. Um, I come before you all today. My topic today is basically going to deal with domestic violence. And it's real interesting that Mama D uh, spoke on the movie 12, uh, 12 Years of Slavery. Uh -huh. And that violence in this uh, aspect and all the way down to right now and the effects that it has on us. Mm -hmm. And the domestic violence piece I want to deal with is uh, kind of coincides with it. I hope you all can just take it and match everything together for what I give you all and for what she gave you all. And give Mama D another round of applause, okay. please. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I am, as of August of this year, 2013, I am a certified counselor in the four areas uh, dealing with uh, one being sexual assault, uh, two, grief counseling, uh, three, conflict resolution slash family ethics, mm -hmm. and the last being uh, domestic violence. Okay. Um, the organization that uh, blessed me to be a part of that, that was actually a 10-week program. Uh, it was actually free, mm -hmm. <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, that is a, it can be anywhere between 10 to about $15,000 if you want to get into that type of a field. Mm -hmm. And of course, you already know if you say that that's the type of work you do, Mentally, you probably think, oh, okay, you probably got some big fancy office, you probably charge some way over, over excessive amount of money, uh -huh. and I don't need to come see you, I'm good, mm -hmm. right? Uh, well, that's not true. In this particular group, and then what we asked to do, we asked to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. And for years, I've been doing that in my own mind, in my own way, mm -hmm. and dealing with talking to people and just getting them back, you know, over situations, be it deaths, mm -hmm. crime, violence, just the question of particular life and why do we live like we live? That's how I got started. I want to know what happened with black people. If we came from Africa where they show us as kings and queens and empire rulers. Mm -hmm. Why when I stepped out of my house in the late 70s as a young man, all I see is what I saw at that time. And y'all pretty much have a picture of that in your own head. It's pretty much what you see right now. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured I wanted to know what happened, where we, where we went wrong at. So that's kind of what led me in the life that I ended up going in the route that I ended up going. Mm -hmm. um, so I was blessed to actually be a part and be a certified counselor. Um, and basically it's just to build self-esteem. Right. Um, again, seeing the fact that I only have 15 minutes, I won't be long, but I will try my best to be strong okay. uh, in my delivery. Mm -hmm. um, there are several levels of types to domestic violence. Uh, and what I want to do today, basically, to get across to you all is, one, what is domestic violence? Mm. Two, how to recognize signs at the start of mm -hmm. domestic violence. You all know what the end looks like. Mm -hmm. It's when the police show up. It's pretty much maybe blood all over the place or somebody crying, normally a young woman. Mm -hmm. You know, but we want to know and recognize how to see it at the start. Mm -hmm. And then three, how to have an exit strategy or an exit plan. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Now, one, because of course we all are affected by domestic violence, whether we realize it or not. Mm -hmm. You know, on a bigger scale as a black community, mm -hmm. uh, past 4.30 in the afternoon, and I don't know if y'all realized it or looked at it, but when you step outside on your way to the grocery store or uh, gasoline uh, place up here to get cigarettes, mm -hmm. currency exchange, depending upon the day of the week, if y'all see police cars riding up and down the street, there's two white cops in it, and they mean mugging you, that's domestic violence. If they get out and you see them harassing a bunch of young men on the street corners or stopping a car in the middle of the street, and there's two cops, 
two police cars, four cops getting out, getting out, you know, as he's going to be come out, and they got them all spread out on the car. That's domestic violence. But that's it on a bigger scale. You know, and that's, that's what we got to deal with. Now, what domestic violence is? Domestic violence is, and this is the definition given by a psychiatrist, uh, domestic violence is a pattern of physical or psychological abuse, threats, intimidation, isolation, or economic corrosion used by one person to export power and control over another person in the context of a dating, family, or household relationship. Domestic violence, witness bearers, what I'm talking about, a domestic, domestic violence is maintained by uh, societal and cultural attitudes, institutions and laws which are not consistent in naming the violence as wrong. Meaning what? It's people that don't look at domestic violence unless it's a physical abuse thing as domestic violence, and that's not always the case. And that's not true. Anybody know in the news any domestic violence cases? Okay. Name. Chris Brown and Rihanna, right? We all saw Rihanna's face. And what we all say, that boy need to be have his behind whooped, but he need to go to jail, right? Right? Uh, what's his name? Officer Peterson? Mm -hmm. We only know about what the one wife, but truth be told, all four wives. Mm -hmm. Why? It's a cycle that builds up. Yeah. And he was married four times, so oh, whether y'all want to recognize it or not, that's domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Now that leads me into how to recognize signs at the start. Well, the first sign is tension building. Yeah. That's when you agitate it. The abuser is extremely critical, they're bullying, they're moody, mm -hmm. and they're very demanding. Mm -hmm. Similar to how a child is when a baby is normally born, normally around four months mm -hmm. to about two years old or one and a half years of age. Mm -hmm. Imagine that as an adult, and they that same way, but they're an adult. Mm -hmm. See, what we gotta deal with is dealing with the cause behind that. What makes them so be that agitated so quickly and so mm -hmm. easy? Phase two, battery. This is when the abuser escalates now to physical or extreme emotional violence. And then the third one, the third phase, they call it the honeymoon state. This is when the abuser expresses what appears to be remorse and makes